Tidwell, owner of Low Fat Cabinet, sitting here today with bassist extraordinaire Dale Black Jr. So glad to have you with us today. We've been sitting here kind of going through uh, some of the Low Fat line. We got some uh, new introductions. Wanted to get your input on how you felt about that, what you're thinking of the cabs. Well, one thing I like about the Low Fat, man, is, is the fact that it's clear, you know, the clarity you get from it and the uh, versatility man because you can go from you know uh, real you can just switch it up because of the you know the attenuators from for the tweeters and all that man and you can dial in basically your sound from the cabinet really you know you can there's been times i have my my amp you know just flat you know and if i just need to switch something up real quick you know i'll just hit a little something on the cabinet man but i like them because they're versatile and uh the sound is very clear, man, at all volumes. It's really clear, you know, from the, the most smallest, most minute sounds to the, you know, the biggest thing you're gonna be able to hear, mm. you know, so that's. What we were using today, uh, just a power amp preamp, we set the uh, preamp flat all the way across. Uh, some of the things we were trying to accomplish with, with our sound, some of like configurations, uh, we played the, uh, this is a 208 with a 5 inch full range speaker going all the way up. Uh, trying to reach some of the, the, the tone goals and the way we're crossing over. Uh, we played a 112 three way. I'm kind of a, a fan of the three way. I don't know how you felt about the three ways. It kind of just broadens the, the, the dynamic range quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, uh, but just going flat with this configuration, uh, I kind of agree with you that what 
my accomplishments, or at least what I was trying to accomplish, is that not having to do a lot of tweaking and just using uh, your preamp on your bass uh, to be able to achieve some of the tone characters. We're doing uh, just about everything that we're running is all neodymiums. Do you have a preference, neodymiums versus? There's been a lot of debate about neos. You know what? It doesn't make that much difference, man, to me. You know, some people they'll say the little nuances that they, you know, they like about it or whatever. One's lighter than the other, but you know. I'm more of a sound guy, like if it sounds good, if it gets, gets to the gig, you know, that's how, that's how I get it. Well, what got me started doing this, and, and I kind of feel like you, uh, was kind of playing around. Of course, I'm getting to be an older guy. You can see some of this gray in my face. Uh, weight was always a concern, and there's, you know, people have been on the fence about a neo speaker uh, not sounding as good as a ceramic speaker, mm -hmm. but uh, to tell the truth, that's just a magnet. The magnet has nothing at all to do with the sound. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we were trying to accomplish, and hopefully that, that you kind of like that, uh, since you're going to be playing this year, uh, of, not this year, in 2011 at the NAMM show, uh, make sure you come out, NAMM show, uh, that is January 14th, uh, 2011, Thursday night at the Bass Bash or the Bass Quake. Uh, Dale Black will be there in full array. Uh, actually playing this very same rig with the 208s with the 18 on the bottom. Uh, one of the things we were trying to accomplish, uh, you know, being a bass player, is that uh, I get one cap, for example, this is the 18 on the bottom, and you go with something like this 208 or a 210, uh, and, and they wouldn't stack right. So one of the things we try to accomplish is that all the cabinets have the same footprint. I don't know what you've experienced down through the years, but I, that became something that was kind of big to me, that we have something that has the same footprint. Uh, and also the weight and finish. I've had enough cabinets that had uh, uh, what folks call the rat fur. Yeah, and anytime yeah. you take a cabinet home, and if you got a cat or something like that, and then those guys <laughs> who like to play, to play those clubs and sits a drink on top, yeah. it can be a disaster. So we're using the uh, polyurea, uh, which is a real hard finish. What do you think about the finish on these things? I love it, man. I love it. I'm the same way, man. I've had fur cabinets, man. They come home smelling like smoke and uh, wherever you play that, man. And these right here, they're just they're, they're durable, man. Heavy duty, man. I love it. Love it. And it's a good look. Too, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you're playing, uh, and you didn't play one today, but you like to play uh, uh, double bass. I know you got uh, your quartet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you do a lot of work with the quartet. Is there any preference for you as a as a bass player of uh, what is that you're looking for from a, a tone aspect when you're going between playing electric bass and uh, playing upright? Um, well, I think on the upright, you know, for my style, the way I play, you know, I like it to be a, a little more darker sounding, you know, you know, especially if I'm using the bow. You know, I like the high fidelity stuff for, you know, bass, especially slapping and stuff like that. And, uh, um, you know this the, the cabinets, man. They just they kind of meet. They you know they pretty much meet both ends of that, man. You know because I can pick up my my upright. You know, like I said, I'll cut back the tweeter or whatever on there. And, uh, it'll work prime. It'll work just fine. You know. And then go back to electric. All you gotta do is you know flip it to whatever. You know, or keep it there. But that's really the main difference between the two, as far as right. my ears. Well, we heard a lot of cabinets today. We heard uh, uh, there was the four ten. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the 212, which was a three-way, uh, the 112 three-way, uh, the 208 uh, by itself, and the 208 sitting on the 118. Yeah. Of all that you heard today, is there something that would that hit your ear that would, you'd consider to be your favorite? This one right here, man. This it? Yeah, this the 208s, man. That and, and the the 18 under it, man. It's just it's got everything, man. Right there, you know, in one package, and it's not taking up a whole room, and, you know whole side of the stage man you but you got the same big sound man I like it I like it cool I like it, I like it too well <laughs> we're ready to uh get up out of here um this rig watch for it on YouTube I'm sure somebody's gonna uh, have a video out from the bass bash 2011 uh during the NAM show watch for Dale Black uh playing this very rig right here uh Low Fat Speaker Cabinets, look us up on the internet. It's lowfatcabinets.com. Check us out, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon.